uh, my second ever weigh in on camera. I already feel like I'm coming in a little leaner. Let's see, last weigh in was 206.8. We're about a week in. And there you have it. 203.2. So we're about three and a half pounds down. That's a, that's a win, everybody. That's a win. Um, now, the goal is to be losing about a pound to a pound and a half a week. But however, you know, first couple of weeks of weight loss, you are going to be shedding a lot of water weight along with fat. So I'm assuming that I probably did lose my one pound of fat and also dropped another three pounds of water weight. I'm also very sick, too. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. But I'm still going to be recording nonetheless because I like what I do. And I'm going to be doing a full day of eating video. Stay tuned for breakfast. It's 12 o'clock noon time. I'm not intermittent fasting. I just was bedridden all morning. And I finally got the energy to come here and make this video. So I'll see you guys at meal numero uno. <laughs> all right, guys. And as uh, stated earlier, here is meal number one. So... What I got here is I got six servings of egg whites with two whole eggs and one slice of Velveeta cheese, expertly mixed with salsa and a little bit of hot sauce. And then I got two slices of multi-grain toast. And I am going to put up the calories on the screen right now, but guess what? All of this, under 500 calories, just so you know. All right, guys, so there you have meal number one, 497 calories, just like I said, under 500. So as you guys can see there, um, I didn't actually keep the uh, salsa or the hot sauce because uh, I just figured the calories are so little on that. But here we are. So 53 grams of protein for breakfast, 37 grams of carb. Got a little bit of fiber in there too, which is always good. And relatively low fat, 16 grams of fat uh, is a win in my book. So there you have it, meal number one. This is quite possibly the best tasting yogurt ever. It's toasted coconut vanilla, uh, Danim, light and fit, 80 calories, 12 grams of protein. Where is the nutrition label? There's zero grams of fat in this thing. But man, that doesn't seem like enough. If only I had fruit. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <gasps> Boom. All right, there we go, guys. Honeycrisp apple and some yogurt. That is snack number one. Some of you also might be wondering what I do on a sick day. I play The Witcher because of the TV show. I actually had this game before, but I never really played it because I thought it was kind of lame. So, yeah, now that I watch the TV show, I'm like, you know what? I think this game's actually, uh, actually pretty cool. Or like this series, this idea of like a monster hunter. So, uh, yeah, it's actually really lit. Highly recommend that game. So, for now, we got food, we got games, and gonna get some rest and beat this cold. Or whatever the heck it is. Alright guys, we're back for the last meal. This is my sick meal here. Chicken noodle soup, homemade. With two ounces of chicken. Yes, I took the chicken out and weighed it. Five ounces of uh, cooked chicken tenderloin. And one serving size of... Uh, Uncle Ben's 90 second best muddy rice with a little bit of soy sauce. And there you have it. Oh yeah, and I like my food spicy. You know what I mean? I like to feel the burn. I like to suffer as I eat through this. I put some lemon in here to help um, cure me. And I've been knocking out this Powerade to zero. The blue one is the best. And if anybody tells you differently, and they're lying. Especially my girlfriend who thinks the orange one is the best. So... There's, there's meal number three, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna put the uh, macros on the screen now so you guys can see the damage that has been done. All right, so this is gonna be showing meals number two and meals number three. So I got my yogurt, I got my apple. I don't think I actually looked at the specific macros, but as you can see, guys, it's actually pretty easy to track everything. You just gotta plug it right in and 
then you just hit the nutrition button and it'll show you 128 grams of protein 40 142 carb and 41 grams of fat all right youtube so i just wanted to give you guys a quick peek at uh, what goes into my gym bag i know this is a full day of eating video but i figured yeah hey, might as well show you guys while i have your attention too you guys can see what i take to the gym so first and foremost um airpod pros love these things i'm actually going to do a review video about them and um, how i like them let's see here second thing please excuse me because i'm trying to pull this with one hand okay second thing is a good gym jacket so this is made by nike um, it zips all the way up to the neck has this little hood here and i like that it has this beak it makes me like think I'm in, from Assassin's Creed or something, so it's sick. It's Nike. It's, uh, it's a really, really good hoodie. Okay. Now, next essential that I have is the gym belt. For, essential for every leg day and certain shoulder workouts as well. Um, it's just really good. People think that this is for back support, but what it actually is is it's not the back of it that works, it's the front of it that works. It keeps your core tight, and it makes sure that all your guts don't uh, slip out of your belly button when you're deadlifting heavy shit. So, there you go. Uh, next thing that I have in here, ooh, it's a good one, chalk. I love chalk, dude, especially for the deadlifts. This is probably only for the deadlifts. Um, it's in a sock. I just kind of rub my hands in there, get them all chopped up, and kill my kill my sets. Oh, huh. uh, my girlfriend likes to draw me pictures from time to time. As you can see, she tried real hard to draw this one. That's really nice, babe. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. Wrist straps. Wrist straps. Essential. Essential. Now, what else is in here? Ooh, this one here is actually a little insider secret. This is uh, some whiskey. This is actually uh, how I get all my gains, but don't tell anybody. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, and uh, cool, yeah, there you have it, everybody. This is Christopher Slyman's Gym Essentials. Now... I'm gonna go work out. I'm probably not gonna film because I'm doing this one solo. And then I will get right back to you guys with dinner. See ya later. Oh my God. This has to be the best pizza place ever. Here is where the magic happens. It's called Build Your Own Pizza. Nello's, or I swear. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, we're going to order this bad boy up, calculate the macros on this, and uh, wrap up the, the, uh, the day of eating. So stay tuned, everybody. I will make you proud, hopefully. There it is. Bacon, black olives, pineapple, pepperoni, and garlic. And garlic. This is going to be legendary. Legendary. Macros are going to be on the screen, guys. And thank you for tuning in to another week of uh, full day of eating. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. All right, and that wraps it up. So as you guys can see, I, I couldn't really find everything specifically for Nello's. We got the 10-inch uh, pizza. Actually, I think we got the 12-inch pizza. But I didn't eat the whole thing. So I just kept it at that serving size. Um, sauce, I just put one serving size, two randomly. Um, the cheese, I kind of guesstimated bacon. I think I overestimated the bacon, uh, pepperoni, and black olives. Then I also actually went to the gym and had a protein shake before that I forgot to film. So, my bad, guys. But here it is, end of the day. We wanted 195 grams of protein. We got 194. We wanted 260 grams of carbs, and we fell very short, 204. But it was hard to eat. I wasn't really feeling well. And for fat, we went up over by one gram. So all in all, successful day and still was under my calorie goal. Thank you, guys.